My last life just so happened to be a very infamous one. Me offing myself was one of the first memories I had from that lifetime. It came to me when I was five in my nightmares. See right where I shot. All right, so I had a video recommended to me in my Discord server, which you guys should join, and it led me down a little bit of a rabbit hole that I want to explore because this is so bizarre, but also kind of interesting. I just want to share this with you guys because I'm kind of like jaw on the floor right now at how deep this rabbit hole goes. So it all starts on Cringetopia, which is a subreddit where you can kind of find like cringe TikToks, cringe whatever. It's called Cringetopia, right? Now this was four months ago, but some guy in my Discord server just sent it to me. I guess, you know, you guys don't really use Reddit, so it may take you four months to find out something you know we don't we don't use reddit around here we actually happen to be like an average weight we're not obese you know and disgusting and we take showers around here so maybe we're not first to the reddit party anyway this says a apparently jewish and queer dude on tiktok thinks he is the reincarnation of hitler now wow right like what a sentence what a statement you know what what exactly do we take away from this now obviously this is the tiktok that he's talking about but i don't even want to watch this we'll watch this in a bit but as you can see the tiktok first frame of it says felix cypher video re-upload for anyone who is interested so i guess this guy's name is felix cypher he thinks he is hitler or something like that and his video probably got taken down because you can't just go on tiktok and be like hey what's up guys hitler here back with another i don't know right back with another crime against humanity back with another you know genocide back with another holocaust you can't really do that you know and then you have like the gaming intro from 2014 play hit gaming you know you can't really do that that, right so anyway this guy's name felix cypher pretty interesting so i click on it search this guy's name up on google and i found that this guy is an author on amazon kind of insane right felix cypher he's got an about section this is the same guy from the video you can just sort of tell he's got the nose ring kind of looks like some sort of a furry grandmother not even sure what i'm looking at here strange looking dude let's read the about the author my name is felix cypher i'm an author and an artist with too many snakes w what w excuse me bro come again like what what is this mean i don't know if he's trying to be like the mysterious kid at lunch or something you know the kid at the lunch table who's like i have a dark past and you're like uh, what bro like you want to explain you, you got something to tell us but i found the extended part of his about the author from 2021 and this is from google books my name is felix cypher and i'm just a basic guy i'm an oddball that likes to waste any available time on daydreaming doodling writing and caring for all my beautiful snakes what's with his snakes i don't know man it's like a weird sort of thing i got the inspiration to write my books series, Heroes of Mid-Area, from many places of interest, and my book has been both an escape and an outlet for me over the years. Now, let's not even talk about his book yet. We're gonna get there, but it says, I am just a basic guy, and then he goes to say, I'm an oddball. Doesn't make any sense. You can't be a basic guy, but also like a freak of nature. You notice that? You know, I'm just a normal, everyday guy, but you know, just like with a, just a bit mentally insane, you know, unwell in a lot of different ways, so. Now, we actually check out his book, Heroes of Mid-Area. Dude's selling the hardcover for 30 bucks, bro. $30? $30? That's a steep ask, bro. That's running me what? What? Like four Diary of a Wimpy Kids? You know what I mean? Like this gotta be the best book of all time. Now we're not gonna even read this description of his book because, you know, ain't nobody got time for that. He's got poor ratings, as you can see, and that's because a lot of it is, uh, well, what do you think? Guy says, they think they're the reincarnation of Hitler, don't buy it, this guy thinks he's Hitler, this guy, he says the book was bad, but, you know, the author's also unhinged, dude thinks he's Hitler, okay, you get the idea. Now, if we actually go here, too, we see, who is Felix Cypher, trans TikToker vanishes from social media after claiming they are Adolf Hitler's reincarnation? Now, all this hype around this guy, right, let's actually get into this, so, let's watch this TikTok. All right. It's time to address the nose ring drama. So if you haven't seen my latest video where I made this new nose ring right here, people are essentially calling me every name under the sun because I had the rice adler on my jacket. So I need to tell you guys. Quick pause. So he said that he had something on his jacket. Now, I don't know what he just said, but from what I understand, it was some sort of like uh, Nazi whatever logo or something like that, you know, like uh, some some sort of like imagery from that group type thing. A little something about me. And you can call me crazy. You can call me whatever you'd like. Any name under the sun. But I'm very in tune with my past and my past lives and lifetimes that I've lived. Now, I, I, listen, we're going to stop, bro, right there because you can kind of see where this is going. He's like, you know, I got some hate for me being visible with like literal, you know, Nazi imagery in frame. And, you know, as a response, I just like to say that in my past lives and you can kind of see where this is going, right? Like we're not we're not headed anywhere good with this video. So let's let's let him talk about his past lives before this one. 
My last life just so happened to be a very infamous one. Me offing myself was one of the first memories I had from that lifetime. It came to me when I was five in my nightmares. See right where I shot myself too. Okay, all right, all right. So now he's gone full unhinged. He's a psychopath. He's lost it. So, so as you can see, he's got this you know birthmark right here on the right side of his forehead. And instead of you know just being like, oh yeah, I have this birthmark, or maybe it's a bruise of some kind, or I, I don't even know. We're gonna go birthmark. So he's insane and thinks that he was Hitler in a previous life, and this is where he shot himself in the head as his life as Hitler. And now that's just like, <laughs> like. I don't even know where to even start with how insane of a sentence that is. But, you know, maybe it's not for me to talk about. Let's just let this dude continue. That and just so many other things throughout my life have connected me to my past. And you can go say, oh, go get on your meds again, you nutter. I've been on so many meds and none of them have changed what I saw when I was five. Okay, all right. So the TikTok ends there and we got to ask ourselves, right? So he ends it by saying like, oh, you can tell me to get on my meds again, which I will tell you, right? Like, hey, you should probably take your meds. You're not Hitler. I don't know if you're insane, schizophrenic, psychopathic, but you got to take something or engage in some sort of practice that's going to stop you from thinking that way. But at the same time, maybe it's the meds themselves that caused him to think like that or, you know, drove him to insanity. But a few things, right? He's saying, oh, I'm so connected with my past as, you know, being Hitler, but a few things, right? Um, you know, Hitler didn't have dyed hair. He probably would disapprove of that. Hitler didn't have squish mellows in the background. Hitler didn't wear Hawaiian shirts, you know, and from what I read from this, and I don't know how true this is, Hitler wasn't Jewish and queer, and he didn't use TikTok. So, you're very unwell. Now, you know, obviously we're late to this post, so it's true that maybe he left the internet or whatever. He, he's offline. He got banned. I'm not sure, but this is a concerning post, right? This says Adolf Weitler. Man tried to show a birthmark, but all I could see was his receipt hairline. Now listen, I think I watched this TikTok and the first thing that I think about is like mental health, right? Like you're unwell. This guy looks like he's Gen Z. And you know, in February 2022, we found out that 70% of Gen Zers say their mental health needs the most attention or improvement. This guy is definitely part of that 70%. As a matter of fact, I would say he needs it probably the most out of a lot of people that I can think of. Like my dude, you 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 really need to, um, I don't know, get some help, get some guidance. But I, I, I'm not even sure what else to say at this point. Like, like, I don't know how you could be Jewish and then think that you're like a reincarnation of Hitler. That doesn't even make sense. Is there proof of this guy being Jewish? I don't know. I can't like look up, is this guy Jewish? And then get like a confirmed actual correct answer. But like, you know, what an insane take, you know, get this guy some help. Don't let him listen to any Kanye West because this, that might just make things worse. But um, yeah, pretty crazy stuff. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments and I will see you guys all next time. Peace.